In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily add shadows to an image here in Kittle. Now, once that you have your images which you want to add shadows to, we can easily click on that image and then come over here to the right hand side where it says object shadow. Now, each one of these is a different drop shadow. So if we click on that, we can see what this looks like. We can click on the next one as well and the next one as well. Now I'm going to go with this one just here. And what we can also do is change the color by clicking on this little color circle just there and we can change it to whatever we want. We can also put in a hex code of a color just here or even choose colors which is in our documents. We can also play with the offset by dragging this bar up and down. We can also play with the angle as well along with the blur. So if we put this at more of an angle, and if we blur that, we can get the effect that we're looking for. And we can also play with adjustments just here with brightness, contrast, and saturation. Now, one thing to note, and that is, if you have an image within a mask, then you're not going to be able to do this. So I have this image just here, along with a mask. Let's just go back one. What we can do is just drop that into the mask like that. And now, if we try to add a blur to this, by clicking on there, we can see we don't actually have that option. So, if you want to add drop shadows to your images, then do not put them in masks. But nonetheless, that's how easy it is to add shadows to an image here in Kittle. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like, as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, Click right here and watch this playlist.